The Lewis structure of hydrogen fluoride, HF, or hydrofluoric acid, if it's dissolved in water, is easy if you know how many electrons each of them brings. Hydrogen, even though it comes from this side of the periodic table, is a non-metal, and so is fluorine. When two non-metals get together, they form a covalent compound, which means they share electrons. Hydrogen is in the first column, so it brings one valence electron with it. Fluorine is in the 17th column, which brings seven electrons each. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh atom in its row. It is one shy of being a noble gas. There we go. Love it. All of the halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, bring seven valence electrons. Now, Fluorine needs one extra to have a full octet, a full eight electrons around it. Hydrogen is actually an exception to the octet rule. It's called the doublet rule. It's happy with just two electrons. So wouldn't it be nice if this fluorine could share its electron with hydrogen and hydrogen could share its electron with fluorine? Then they would both be happy. In fact, that is what happens. The hydrogen and the fluorine share their unpaired electrons, the fluorine still has its other six electrons around it. And what we do conventionally is replace bonding pairs of electrons with single lines. There we go. This is HF. We often show the extra lone pairs on an atom that has them. And this is your complete Lewis structure. It is a sharing of electrons, and we show covalent bonds with these single lines. Done. Hey, best of luck.